Hello! Today we will be constructing our first principal G bundle. As usual, we will look at the definition of a principal G bundle. Now, this is a lengthy definition, so I will break this video into parts where I will first explain what is a right G space, then what it means for a G space to be free, and finally talk about quotient spaces. We start with explaining right G spaces. Its definition says, let G be a Lie group and E a smooth manifold. Then the map with the left triangle symbol is called a right G action on E if it satisfies the following conditions. Once these conditions are satisfied, we call E a right G space. To explain these conditions, we will use the cylinder. So E equals C1 Cartesian product R. To clearly define a right action, we need to use numbers. Anytime we need to use numbers on a manifold, we need to use charts. Let us define a chart on this manifold. We start by placing circles at different heights of the cylinder, then we place vertical lines. Let us bring in a red dot and track its coordinates. At the top, it has the following coordinates. If we move the point down, the coordinates change in the following manner. As the point reaches each circle, the last coordinate changes by 0 0.5. The first two coordinates change when the red dot moves along a circle. Let us bring our dot back to its starting point. We can now define our right G action. If we take a real number minus 1, our right G action just subtracts from the last coordinate. We can look at a few more numbers. This right G action satisfies all the conditions of the definition. We will talk about free space. The principal G bundle definition talked about our right G space being a free space. To understand this, we define the following set SP. Essentially, it collects all the actions that do not move a point on the manifold. We call this set a stabilizer. Now if for all points of a manifold their stabilizer just contains the identity of the group, then we have a free space. Let us look at the cylinder example. We start with the point up here, then we do the following right action. The point moves down. Therefore minus 1 does not belong to the stabilizer. Now let's move back to our starting point and do a right action with another number that the point still moves, meaning minus 0 0.5 is not part of the stabilizer. Finally, let's us do a right action with 0. The point does not move, meaning 0 is part of our stabilizer. In addition, 0 is also the identity of the group we choose. Furthermore, what we have it for this single point holds true for all points on the cylinder. Therefore, we have a free space. Let us have an intermediate summary. In the principal G bundle definition, we have done the following. We have constructed a right G space by defining the following right action. We take a real number and do addition on the last coordinate. Furthermore, we have shown that this right G space is a free space. What is remaining is the third point. Before we can show that there is a bundle morphism, we need to construct a quotient space for our example.
I will give an example of how we construct our quotient space. Let us start with a cylinder and choose a point P0. We can draw a vertical line through the point. If we take any blue point on this line, we can always use the right action we define to move the blue point to the red point. With this in mind, we define the following set. It contains all the points on the vertical line. Now if we choose other points on the cylinder, we can then draw vertical lines through these other points and define the following sets. If we collect them into a set, we get our quotient space. However, this might seem random. If we move these points along the vertical lines, we see that we get a circle. We have found that our quotient space looks like a circle. Furthermore, we can define the projection also in this case. Take any point Q from the cylinder and map it to a set OP where Q belongs to that set. Bundle morphism. We now see that if we start with the following bundle that has the right G action we define, our quotient space and projection looks like this. These two bundles look the same. Therefore, we have a bundle morphism between the two bundles. As a result, we have constructed our first principal G bundle. Thank you for watching.